Hi everyone, welcome once again to Root Access. You want access, you've got it, and you've got it at the root level. So sudo in, <laughs> sudo in, and rm dash files. Uh, yeah, there you go. Jamie DeGrazio, former Mac genius. Ryan Ritchie, uh, I suckered a lot of businesses into buying Macs. So, <laughs> on the blog, we like to, uh, every once in a while we stir up controversy. You know what else you did? What else? You sold a lot of dot .Mac. Oh. And it's kind of segues into what we're I know, about. ironically now, I, I, yeah, I feel bad. You never got the chance to sell mobile me. I, <laughs> I feel bad, not as bad as selling uh, Apple Car on an iPod Shuffle, <laughs> but still, I feel pretty bad about this. So, you had mentioned on the blog yeah. that Gmail, um, the, G, the Google services had pretty much made mobile me. I mean, they, they're, they're copying a lot of mobile me does for free. They're getting, they're getting really close to. And I believe everything. The, I believe you titled it "Die Mobile Me Die," which was a little harsh on my part, um, which makes it easy for you to search for it <laughs> in the blog. But people are just people get upset when you, very, you pick on their mobile me. They're very defensive about their mobile yep. me. So what? Where does the mobile me rage come from? Are we missing something? Is, is mobile me a really good value? Well, I, I guess for some people it may. Mm -hmm. It may be a good value. I, um, I think for a lot of people, the, the rage, as you call it, is sort of um, maybe a little bit fanboyism. Oh, mi boy. Mixed in with a little bit of people needing to maybe justify the, the cost of mobile me, maybe to themselves, mm -hmm. maybe. Because maybe they're still others. purchasing yeah. each year. Yeah. yeah, and um, let's face it, 100 bucks a year, especially in today's economy, mm -hmm. is, um, you know, it's a lot. I, just within the last month, just point of disclosure here, I have MobileMe, and I just renewed about a month ago, and I've decided that I'm going to take the next 11 months to wean everybody off my email address. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. going to tell them now, you know what, I'm done with that email address, and start moving them to, to my Gmail or to other accounts. <laughs> Because that's the only reason I keep paying yeah. it. I mean, that was the reason. Uh, I, we, I think we both started with iTools mm -hmm. when it was free. Mm -hmm. And then it was kind of cool because, there, like you said, there were no uh, Gmail. Right. You know, there was Hotmail and Google. Right. But if you were a Mac user, you now had you know, a Mac.com address. Mm -hmm. And this was kind of cool. It was kind of being part of like a club. And that's when Apple was still kind of like the underdog. Right. And st still sort of, you know... Um, you know, Think Different was still around and right. all that. Yeah, it was a different time. But like you say, not only was it part of a club, but it actually you were getting functionality that you could not get anywhere else. Yeah. And oh my goodness, if I buy a Mac, I have an email address, I have a place online I can put files, mm -hmm. and I can put I can put video files, yeah. even, or photos. Well, guess what? Now, yeah, you, Flickr, yeah, I mean, YouTube, You, you Facebook. mentioned this was all pre-YouTube, free, uh, pre-Flickr, and pre-Facebook. Yeah. Right. So maybe you could justify, hey, I want to share photos. I can, I can post them and send an email link. Mm -hmm. Now people tend to post them on their Facebook. Uh, you could post video on your Facebook, and you could post video on YouTube Anywhere. or Flickr. Yeah, or, sure. You know. So, like, that, it, what you are planning on doing is what actually I did, because when we both started working at Apple, we got free .Mac accounts. Mm -hmm. So I never actually paid for a .Mac account. Just like a good, a good pusher a good, <laughs> that gets you in for free. So we all, you know, we had free .Mac accounts. And when I left Apple, I decided, well, I don't really want to pay $100 a year, because mm -hmm. really I'm only using the email portion. Right. And, and I started to think, in seven years, why well, look back and say, I just wasted $700 on email, and that would make me sick. <laughs> <laughs> so, especially at the time when Google was offering, you know, unlimited space for free, mm -hmm. and at, I think at, at that time Apple was offering, like, maybe a gigabyte it of space. It was very small. And now it's, what, 20 gigs, I believe? I think so, yeah. the, the folks will let us know if, <laughs> if we're wrong on that. But beyond the email, I mean, today, to use it effectively, it's almost like you have to buy more things. Like, okay, now I need to get iWeb, so I have to get the new iLife package yeah. or, or iWork to, um, to now make my site if I'm going to use that, that space. Oh. There are plenty of ways to have a blog or whatever for free or for a lot less than $100. And, and really, they're basically saying you need an iPhone. Right. <laughs> to, to get all the, you mm -hmm. know, all the... With the push services and everything. Yeah. Yeah. So if, if you weren't an iPhone user, I mean, I don't see why you would even keep MobileMe. Mm -hmm. But if you are, and, and chances are you probably have a Gmail account or, or a Yahoo account, and these other companies are doing 
push services now. You know what? I'm going to put it in my calendar now. I'm going to put on my disguise mustachio. <laughs> And I'm going to go into the store and I'm going to say, tell me about this mobile me. I've been hearing a lot about that. A lot of buzz wanna, on the you boards. Wanna, you want to get the sales pitch. You I want to hear that. how they pitch it today because it can't possibly be as, as compelling as it was before all those other services existed. And lest we forget, there was a time when it also had virus protection and backup. Well, now you've got Time Machine yeah. uh, on the OS. So what is the, what is the pitch with mobile me? Um, We'll find out. I think it's probably the push services, mm -hmm. but it almost makes more sense if Apple spent their resources um, making sure everybody else's push services worked well with the iPhone instead of worrying about their own, you know? Mm -hmm. And if they are gonna offer their own, it maybe should give like six months or eight months or maybe a year free with the device. It's just interesting to me because there can be something like the MacBook Air and we might point out, be critical of the fact that there's only one USB port or that it's underpowered or overpriced. Mm -hmm. And people buy the MacBook Air and there isn't the same anger <laughs> as mobile me. Every time we do a blog about mobile me or dot Mac, people just, just are rushing to defend it. And I think it is not, it's the loyalty, but it's like you said, each year you're buying into it further. You are. And so some people now have put $700 into it. Well, it could also be the fact that you now are seeing more and more people attacking Mobile Bee, and it's almost like this combative syndrome. Where right. Now it's like they're, they're you know, rallying the horses, and, <laughs> and they're just like bunkering down. It's and Mobile Me's last stand. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what it is. So, and, and you know, when they gave away the, the free month, and then what, free, two more free months. Yeah, every, I thought, every time it went down, I think yeah. people end up getting like six months free for I, all the outages. And but. I say six more months, and you've got the right price. If it's a free service, great. Yeah. All, all of the concerns go away. Because mobile may free, there actually is, so a lot of people don't know this, there's a free version of mobile me, and it's called Gmail. <laughs> so, if you want all those, all that uh, storage space and your email, it's called Gmail, and then you put your pictures on Flickr. Well, and, and people point to the iDisk as mm -hmm. being the, the one thing that you know, Gmail or Yahoo doesn't offer, but G-Disk is coming. Yeah, it's maybe coming. by the time you see this. I think it's <laughs> yeah, be... so by the end of the year, probably it'll be out, Right. and it'll probably be unlimited storage or, or maybe 30, 40 gigs, so. Which also will make the netbooks more compelling because yep. if you can get to all that stuff from your little netbook, it doesn't matter that it's limited to four gigs or yeah. 20 gigs or whatever. So we'll see how that plays out. And boy, don't get me started on Apple and the netbook. <laughs> don't get me started. Um, but at any rate, let us know what you think. You, you've, you've never been shy about it when it comes to mobile me. Uh, you can send an email to root at the digitallifestyle.tv or leave a video response below if you're watching this on YouTube or on our mobile meet. Well, we don't have a mobile meet page. <laughs> now, do we? It, how about this? If you're running your business on a mobile meet yes, page, we need to know. Let, us, let us know. Or if you think you just have a great mobile meet page, send us an email, let us know. I don't want to see it if your pets are on it. Great moments in mobile meet history. That's what we want. Excellent. The mobile meet awards. <laughs> yes. The, the me's. Mobies. How like how mobile me saved your ass? Like let's hear like, it. Let's hear it. Yeah. I love it. And then send it to Apple, they'll put it on the site, maybe they'll give you two months free. <laughs> You'll get two months free anyhow, I, I have a feeling. <laughs> the service goes down. Now see, people are getting enraged just <laughs> listening. See, to it's us. because everyone's picking on mobile me, that's why. <laughs> All right. Well we're done. We're done with it. Uh, we'll see you next time. We're not gonna talk about mobile me though. Thanks for watching.